hi friends welcome to my channel let's learn in today's video i will give you a live demo on how i work on scribi.com so without any further delay let's get started first of all i will log in into my scribi account here you can see there are 582 files available for transcription to find most appropriate file for this demo video i will click on duration now the big files are on top and small files are in the bottom i am looking for a file which is neither too big nor too small and also very easy to transcribe This file is 6 minute long, it might be the right choice, let's listen to preview. Here are some things we can do. First of all, we can praise wisely, not praising intelligence or talent. It sounds very clear and easy, let's select this one. It will open the editor with automated transcript in it. Now all you have to do is listen to the audio and make corrections in automated transcript or fill in the blanks with whatever is missing from the transcript and also stick to transcription guidelines. Now I will stop talking here, no more talking, just see it in action how I do it. I heard about a high school in Chicago where students had to pass a certain number of courses to graduate and if they didn't pass a course they got the grade not yet. And I thought that was fantastic, because if you get a failing grade, you think, I'm nothing, I'm nowhere. But if you get the grade not yet, you understand that you're on a learning curve. It gives you a path into the future. Not yet also gave me insight into a critical event early in my career, a real turning point. I wanted to see how children coped with challenge and difficulty. So I gave 10 year olds problems that were slightly too hard for them. Some of them reacted in a shockingly positive way. They said things like, I love a challenge. Or, you know, I was hoping this would be informative. They understood that their abilities could be developed. They had what I call a growth mindset. But other students felt it was tragic, catastrophic. From their more fixed mindset perspective, their intelligence had been up for judgment and they failed. Instead of luxuriating, in the power of yet, they were gripped in the tyranny of now. So what do they do next? I'll tell you what they do next. In one study, they told us they would probably cheat the next time instead of studying more if they failed a test. In another study, after a failure, they looked for someone who did worse than they did so they could feel really good about themselves. 
And in study after study, they have run from difficulty. Scientists measured the electrical activity from the brain as students confronted an error. On the left, you see the fixed mindset students. There's hardly any activity. They run from the error. They don't engage with it. But on the right, you have the students with the growth mindset, the idea that abilities can be developed. They engage deeply. Their brain is on fire with yet. They engage deeply. They process the error. They learn from it, and they correct it. How are we raising our children? Are we raising them for now instead of yet? Are we raising kids who are obsessed with getting A's? Are we raising kids who don't know how to dream big dreams? Their biggest goal is getting the next A or the next test score? And are they carrying this need for constant validation with them into their future lives? Maybe because employers are coming to me and saying, we have already raised a generation of young workers who can't get through the day without an award. So what can we do? How can we build that bridge to yet? Here are some things we can do. First of all, we can praise wisely, not praising intelligence or talent. That has failed. Don't do that anymore. But praising the process that kids engage in, their effort, their strategies, their focus, their perseverance. This is how you work on Scribby.com. It's too simple, but also their pay rate is quite low. If you are a newbie and don't have any experience in transcription, this may be the place to start with. After having some experience, you can try for higher paying transcription jobs or websites. By now, I hope you have got a fair idea about how to work on Scribby.com. I also have created a separate video about how to do preparations for a transcription test. You can find the link in the description. Okay, back to the video now. After removing all the errors and filling the blanks with the missing words, make sure the whole transcript is according to Scribby.com guidelines. Let me quickly fill all the remaining gaps to complete this transcript. The last thing you would have to do is run a basic grammar check and it's all done. Simply click on submit button right below the text box. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to Let's Learn. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to ask something, let me know in the comment section. Bye for now. See you in the next video.